Hi, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching. It's One Thing Wednesday for Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. Today's subject is the words. The words you use are important when talking to a customer. Not just the words you use, but the, the way you say the words. You've heard it said many, many times, words are not the only thing you're saying when you're speaking. Your body language, the tone of your voice, the look on your face, your allocution, what you sound like, your energy level. All of these things contribute to how the people that are watching you or listening to you respond to you. So I'll give you an example of what, I'm, what I mean by that. A good friend of mine always said, it's how you say it. It's not just the words you say. And he always gave me this example of take a dog, for example, your, do your pet dog. Let's call him Barney. When you come home from work, Barney is always at the door and you open the door and all of a sudden your voice goes up three octaves. Your body language gets animated and you call out to Barney. Hey, Barney, come here, buddy. Here you go, buddy. Good to see you, Barney. How you doing, buddy? Right. But what would happen if you walk through the front door and Barney comes to see you and you come across with an angry demeanor? Barney, what do you want? Come here, Barney. Good to see you, Barney. What are, you, what are you up to, Barney? How are you doing, Barney? The customer is going to respond differently, or in this case, the dog. So I'll give you an example of a conversation I overheard the other day on the showroom, and you may find this helpful. I had a customer come in, and the customer was at the end of their lease, and they were speaking to the sales consultant about their options at the end of the lease. And in this case, the customer had exceeded their mileage, they had a three-year lease and they were allowed to go 45,000 miles and they were at 50,000 miles. So they exceeded the number of miles that were allowed in the lease. And as the salesperson was covering those options, the, the salesperson said to the customer, you know, if you, here's your option to give it back and just walk away. If you give it back, the lease company is going to charge you the disposition fee, which is on your contract. And that's a fee they charge you to dispose of the car they're going to send it to the auction and they've got some cost involved to do that. And the customer didn't really seem to re react one way or another. They were seemed okay with it, I guess. Uh, but then the salesperson said, if you turn it back in, you're going to have a mileage penalty. So they had a disposition fee and a mileage penalty. And the, cust and the, the salesperson said, so you drove it 5,000 extra miles and to keep this simple, it's 10 cents a mile or 20 cents a mile. So the salesperson said 5,000 times 20 cents, you'll have to pay a penalty of $1,000. And when the salesperson said that, watching the customers, the expression on the customer's face, the language the customer used toward the salesperson was not good. The customer responded in a very negative way. Well, I, how come I have to pay this penalty? And I only went 5,000 over, can't you waive that penalty? Well, the point that I want to make here is a fee and a penalty are two completely different words in this context. A fee is an amount of money the customer's paying for a service. A penalty is punitive. It makes the customer feel like they're being penalized. In reality, on a lease, it's not a penalty. And I want to encourage sales consultants and sales managers to stop using the word mileage penalty. We all know why they're charging the extra mileage fee or the extra mileage charge. Go through it really quickly. When the customer leased the car three years ago, we knew that the customer was, was going to keep it for three years. And at the end of three years, the customer agreed that they would drive it 45,000 total miles. So based on those things and some other variables, we estimated the value of the vehicle in three years from day one with 45,000 miles on it to be worth, let's say $10,000. The customer drove it for three years, but they drove it 50,000 miles. So the 10,000 mile um, lease on value was based on 45,000 miles, but they drove it 50,000. So the accelerated depreciation that's caused by the additional mileage needs to be deducted from the value of the car. And so the lease company says, if you drive one mile over 45,000 miles for each of those miles, the depreciation is 20 cents. 
you drove it 5,000 additional miles, 5,000 times 20 cents is $1,000. So the lease company is going to charge the customer $1,000 so they can depreciate the car from the 10,000 the customer originally agreed to down to 9,000. Now in the end, it doesn't really matter. The customer is gonna have to write a check for $1,000, but that's not the point. The point is don't put customers on the defensive by assigning a penalty to them. That's one of the reasons people push back against leasing. And we've all had it where the customer says, well, I don't want to lease because I'm going to have a big mileage penalty at the end. Well, let's stop calling it a penalty because that is not what it is. We are not penalizing the customer. We are charging the customer for the additional miles they drove the car. In the same way, if you were to rent a car from the airport and they said, you can drive this car 100 miles per day. And when you brought it back, you drove it 200 miles per day, they're going to have a rental charge for the additional miles. So again, it's not just how you say things, it's the words you use to say things. And when it comes to leasing, I strongly recommend you stop using the word penalty and stop penalizing your customers. And you may find that their response to charging that fee is completely different. This is One Thing Wednesday with Tony and Talking Car Biz. Thanks for tuning in.